Hey Lou. Hey Gary. What are you filming me for? What are we doing? I don't know. What are we doing, Lou? You we're talk to him. I just got. We're uh. Hold, hold on here, guys. We're going fast nothing. We're in a hurry. We got probably three minutes until shooting time ends. <laughs> we got an hour and 24 minutes. So. Well, tell them what our plan is. Gonna, is. gonna do the usual usual strategy that we've been doing this year. We're gonna drive by our local spots where it's been good and wait till we see something run into there or flying around in there and then go in there. Because what sense does it make to go into a piece of state land and waste your energy walking it if you don't know there's anything in there? Well, tell, the dog. Them, tell them what app we use to find the land. On X Hunt. To find state land, found some pretty prime pieces all relatively close to each other. And I'm sure there's more we could travel to find that are even more prime than that, but we don't have any money. If you guys got any pheasant recipes you want to share, drop them down below. If we get some tonight, we're going to try something new. I don't know what we're going to make. What was phenomenal last video? Pheasant fajitas. Go go check it out. Buy Stay tuned. A GoPro. Junk. Hey there, guys. Rolling up to our first uh, location we found a deer. Nothing on the edge. He's heading over. Look at the size. State land, Lou. We gotta wait for him to go into the weeds here so we can get up there without him flying away right away. Let's get loaded up and go, Lou. Lucas. spot that we uh, investigated along our road of state land here. Gary spotted a big one down in the out of the wind next to some mowed down trees. We waited him out, waited for him to go into the weeds and then another one come out. We thought shoot maybe we could get two here. One on each side I was in the land, the main land. Gary was in the road ditch and uh, walked in a parallel line. Came out my side, Gary said he heard him first. I dumped him, and then we never seen the other one. So we got one at this time. We got a half an hour left of shooting time. We'll see what happens. Oh, <laughs> nice, Lou. Mark him, I'll keep walking. Look at the deer.
Where the hen? Oh my god. Where'd the big one go? Well, it wasn't a barn burner, but it wasn't a bust. Nice job, Lou. Okay, you didn't get any again. Didn't get up in front of me. Nice one. This one was born a couple months ago. <laughs> so. So I think we... This is about the third time we've walked this this year. And I think we decided that we, there's no point in walking it if you don't cut 12 guys in the dog. They just run around you. We've seen seven of them lying right out here. Me and Lucas bolted out there. Got one or two up. So. I know. It's the. It's prime it's land. There's a lot of birds. The stuff that you can't hardly walk to is. No, they're just going to mock us. Is the best uh, stuff to find roosters in, so. So we're gonna head her back to town here. I don't know what we should make for supper, Lou. I think we should make like um, chicken tenders, but use pheasant. Well. Or pheasant nuggets, deep fried in the fryer kind. Yeah. So you guys left away a little bit. We gotta go home and clean birds, get undressed, and make some food. See you a little bit. Well, we made it back here. I think we're going to make some deep fried pheasant strips. Right, chicken strips, but pheasant. Dry the meat off first. The batter seems to stick a little better. Not like completely dry, but dry enough. Now, I think I'm going to try to cut them cross grain. So the grain runs this way, obviously. Cut them cross grain, they're easier to eat. You know, some pheasant bites the way it looks on strips. Hopefully we don't break too many teeth eating these. Look, it's like shooting them in the breast. I like shooting them. Yeah. Gary doesn't even put the finger on the trigger. That one, they're 50 yards away with four shot. I get them. So then what you do. Get your favorite fish batter. Right here we got Cajun and Shore Lunch. Cajun Shore Lunch. And this Louisiana fish fry batter. Oh. If you don't like it as spicy, that takes away a little of the spice. Flavor. Yep. Close the bag up. And then you go throw it in the deep frat fryer. Frat. We've got to get the air fryer going here to make some fries. Got to make them here? Hopefully. Stay tuned. Gotta get our side dish going here. Very healthy. Oh. Get some little tip for you guys. 30 minutes, 400 degrees. How many? 30 or so. <laughs> Let's go get the pheasant in the fryer, I think, Lou. Out of the fryer? In the fryer. You haven't put any oh. in yet? Good lord. Fireoutdoors.com. Get your one. What are we going by over here on the way to the fryer? The rod building facility. Huh? Rod building facility. No, lights off the way I unplugged her. Oh, 
Comment down below if you want one. Grab this light here. Try not to get a big old shadow cast. God, it's cold out. You gotta hold the camera above, Lou. The light above, I mean. It is going to be so good, Gary. <laughs> like I said, 30 minutes at 400 degrees. <laughs> you see a little bit. It's been about 10 minutes here. Don't know if it's going to be done or not, but we're going to give her a try. Wow. Unreal with you. What? Just cooking everything absolutely perfectly. Can't shoot them, but I'll cook them up for you, Lou. That sounds like a good deal. What were you saying? The only reason I bring you with pheasant? So I can flush the birds for you. <laughs> I'm gonna put a pause on the fries because they're not about done, quite done yet, but you guys don't need to hear that in the background. Get in there. You gotta record me eating one first, Lou. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. Slow down, you don't need to break your tooth. We gotta go pheasant hunting more. Mom, I'm sorry, that's better than your chicken strips. Wow. William's in the kitchen. Don't give him away our cooking channel name. <laughs> if you guys got a recipe that you guys want to share with us, drop it down below. Let's try it with barbecue here. <laughs> Buffaloing. Finish this piece up. Save some for me, Lou. I gotta get some more on there. No. Oh. Any good? We gotta get out there right now. If you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe. Smash the like button. Yeah. So from now on. All the hunts we go on, we're going to be making something different after each hunt. So stay tuned for that. You better look up some recipes then. So hopefully this video informed you a little bit how to go find some land to hunt. There's a lot of state land. There might not be a lot of state land around you, but there is for us. So pull up Onyx. All the state land is highlighted in green. Pull up, see some birds, go shoot them. Pretty simple. We, we get her done without a dog, so. If you don't have a dog, follow our tip. Wait for, wait to see a bird, and then go in and jump them. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. I'm going to South Dakota this weekend to shoot at some ducks. Possibly some geese. Lucas will be here in Minnesota doing some duck hunting and pheasant hunting, so. It's getting pretty close to November here. About a week away. Deer hunting is next weekend. And then ice fishing, so. A lot of content coming. So if you're not already, hit the subscribe button or there will be consequences. Stay tuned for the next one.